All right, let's talk about how to add a new banner ad to the Joomla 2.5 banner ad system. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to under components. And we're going to click on banners, and you've got several choices. This is where you actually load the banners. This is where you determine your categories and or add unit sizes. This is where you'd add new clients. You need to add a new client before you can add a new banner. And this is tracks, where you get your reporting. So let's first go over to clients and let's add a brand new a client. So you can see I have a few listed here. Let's go ahead and let's click on new. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the client name and in this case let's just put the client in as my name, Ryan Dorn. Now the contact name, you know what you can do is you can either put in a contact name of you or you can put in your customer's name. Very often, I like to put in the actual sales rep's name. So let's just say the sales rep's name is uh, Joe Brown. Okay? And then let's put in jbrown at uh, test.com. Okay? That's his, whatever his email address is. Now, do you want to track the client's impressions? Typically, the answer is a yes. Do you want to track the client's clicks? Typically, the answer is a yes. You'll notice it did catch me with an error here in the email address. There's an exclamation point. So let's get rid of that. And then over here on the right side, we can put in meta keywords to search by, but I'm not going to put any inf other information. I'm just going to click Save and Close. All right, now let's load up a banner ad. So let's click on the banners link here at the top, and let's go ahead and click New to load a brand new banner ad. Now let's just say the name of this ad is just Ryan a Summer a Test. Okay. And the alias, you can put whatever you want in there. Under the category, I'm going to choose what size of ad is it. And I think it's a 728 by 90. Okay, I want to publish it. All right, and what is it? It's an image. So I want to select the image. Now, you can either load your banners in advance, or you can do it here. So I'm going to click Browse. And I'm going to go over here and choose one of my 728 by 90s. Click Open and do Start Upload. Now the next step is one that people often forget. You actually have to click on the banner and then click insert. Now here you're going to want to put the width, 728 by 90. The alt text, what do you want it to say? Click here to win or whatever or you can leave it blank. And here is the URL where you want it to link to. Don't forget the HTTP. The description is just for you. Over here on the right, when do you want it to start publishing? Let's start it today. And when do you want it to end publishing? Let's just say that we want it to end in May 22nd. Now, you can set a max number of impressions, or you can set it to be unlimited. When you go back to the banner, after it's run for a while, these numbers from zero will change, and you can reset them here as well. Now, who is the client? The client from my list is going to be Ryan Dorn. Okay? What type of purchase type is this? It's monthly, which is the client uh, default. Okay? and track impressions. We want to use the client default, which is yes, and use the client default, which is yes. And that's it. And then we're just going to click save and close. Now down here at the bottom, track impressions, if you want, you can choose yes. If you want, you can choose yes, or you can just use uh, the default uh, as it is. Okay, and if it disappears, click on the little arrow up here. All right, and that's it. Now one thing to note before we close is you'll see this right here where it says sticky, okay? I always want to choose no because I want my banners to be random and to rotate. If you choose sticky, what you can do is you can actually mouse over sticky and it will show you what that means rather than get into that detail here. So what I do is I choose no, okay? And that's it. That's all you need to do to load a banner ad in your system. Now, keep in mind, um, there are some circumstances in terms of setting up the banners to display correctly, and that would be here under your module manager, and we'll discuss that in another video. Best of luck with the Joomla banner ad system in 2.5. It's a great improvement uh, from 1.0 and definitely from uh, 1.5. Take care.